back and has been in league football for a couple of years now. So not only are they really inexperienced, they're youthful, but they have very little championship experience in there either, which, is, which makes their achievements so far all the more remarkable. Brian Roberts very highly rated in the game and uh, being scouted by top clubs. The and so is, so is Angus McDonald, you know, he's another one. He's made the step up from non-league Torquay this summer to replace Alfie Mawson, who left to go to, to Swansea City, and he's been slotted straight in without uh, without needing a bed in period. It is quite extraordinary. The referee today, Tony Harrington of Cleveland. Both teams are out. Lying up facing the main stand, Cardiff City in their familiar all blue. Our side is picked up by Scowan. He turns it forward but it's turned back by Peltier to his goalkeeper, Amos, away to our left, he clears downfield, Hoylett turns it infield, Whittingham hoists it forward, Zohor brings it down, Hoylett plays it forward, Pilkington plays a good ball away towards the near side, to Noon, moving forward towards the edge of the area, forced to turn back and then give it wide to Connolly, Infield to Gunnison, who has a quick look up and plays it forward. Neat back here by Pilkington. Gunnison trying to get the cross in. Corner to Cardiff. Good start by yeah. City. There's a good thrust about Cardiff when they do get forward at the moment. Plenty of runners coming from midfield to try and link up with Zoho. There's options available for every Cardiff player in possession. So it's going to be a corner to Cardiff. Near side, they're right. They attack the Grange end. So it'll be Whittingham. Nearly 10 years with the club next month, or will be 10 years with the club next month. And he's going to take it with his usual left-footed in-swinger. In it comes, high across goal, the header in! And that's a goal for Cardiff City, and it's Morrison has got it in exactly three minutes. Well, it's something that Cardiff uh, and Neil Warnock themselves have been a bit critical of his Cardiff team since he's taken over and that's that they haven't been ruthless enough in front of goal. Well, this is a great start from Cardiff, just three minutes on the clock. They've been dominant in the opening exchanges and they've already taken a 1-0 lead. They've turned that dominus into an advantage on the score sheet. A lovely in-swinging corner from Peter Whittingham, delivered left-footed towards the near post and Morrison just gets a little run on his marker and glances ahead header inside the near post. His second goal of the season. Football pretty easily, Hurahan. He leads this uh, league in assists with nine. And he takes it short, finding... Bradshaw and he belts it forward and it's turned over the bar by Amos for a corner to Barnsley. Sloppy stuff again from Cardiff, they conceded. To our right, leading Barnsley by one goal to nil. In comes Gunnison, that's a long throw towards the penalty spot. Morrison heads it on, the header coming in from Pilkington is just over the bar. Well, saves the blushes of Will, uh, Pilkington because... The referee had blown for an infringement anyway. I think a little push in the back from Pilkington as he's trying to make a connection with that header on Andy uh, Yadom, I think. He just got underneath the ball. Scarn plays the ball wide to Bree. Scarn gets it back and plays it infield to Morsey in the centre circle. He plays that forward, gets it back off Hurahan. And it's played forward by Morsey. Morsey gets it back, 10 yards inside the Cardiff half. Plays the ball across the centre circle to Hurahan. It's a left-footed cross high into the area. Header coming in, and that's a goal from Winno. It's 1-1. That was a great cross that's from it. the right, and it was always going to reach Winno. And his looping header beat Amos, and it's Cardiff City 1, Barnsley 1. That's a superb ball in from deep by, by Morsey, and he did say Winno, not the biggest guy, but he is effective as a number nine, and he peels off the back of Sean Morrison very, very well on this left-hand side. And he throws it long down the line, looking for Zohor, brings it down and plays it infield to Gunnison, who gets past Hurahan and goes forward towards the edge of the area, chips the cross in, Hoylet waiting for it, headed away by Bree for a corner to Cardiff. And again, it's Aaron Gunnison who provides that little bit of thrust for Cardiff from the midfield. And it'll be Whittingham to take it, left-footed. And it comes high towards the penalty spot. Morrison's header high over the bar. And it was going wide anyway. Okay, the ratio of chances to corners that Morrison seems to have fall to him in the line. Far side. LTA will take it. Cardiff attacking the goal to our right in that all blue strip. LTA a long throw over the head of Zohar. Hoylet battles for it, so too does Roberts. And that's cleared away. And the ball played infield by Hoylett. Pilkington has it, plays it forward, a chance here for Hoylett. And 
and he's put it wide. Great chance for Cardiff. And Hoylett stretches out on the turf. He can't believe he's missed it. His lovely play from Pelkington, who turned away from goal, saw three white jerseys descend on him and still had the wherewithal to just pivot his body some way and create enough of an opportunity to just stab the ball through to Hoylett, who'd continued his run beyond the Barnsley back four. He stayed on the side. edge of their own area, near side. Anthony Pilkington's had a very good opening 25 minutes here. He just seems to have a renewed confidence about him after that winner in midweek. He's done everything the Cardiff have done well has gone through him. Good ball forward by Zohor. Noon plays it across the centre circle to Hoylett, who's going to take on Bree. Moving forward towards the edge of the area. He's got Skarn with him. Plays it forward towards the byline. And was there a push on a Cardiff player then? No, said the referee, but it is a corner. No, nope. went to ground. I think it was just a coming together, wasn't there? Both of them stretch him for a very well-weighted ball towards the bar line on that far side. And the goalkeeper felt he had to come and interfere and did so by pushing the ball behind and clearing his lines for a corner. On the Cardiff left, far side, Whittingham to take it. Morrison moving forward for what he hopes will be his usual header. In it comes. The header from Manga is pushed over the bar by Davis. That was so nearly number two. Yeah, and that's a fourth corner where a Cardiff player has been able to rise pretty much unchallenged and get a header in on goal. The first three have fallen to uh, Sean Morrison, one of which resulted in the opening goal. That time it's Bruno Manga just following up behind Sean Morrison. It's a powerful header, but unfortunately it's straight down the middle of the goal, just no more than six yards out. But I think it was Yado maybe at the near post, just facing his own goal, just managed awkwardly to hook it over. Whittingham then with the corner near side towards the near post, headed high into the air by Hurahan and Barnsley have a chance to attack on the break, forward comes Scowan he's got Kent on the left, Kent wins it in a bit of space, racing forward, gets the cross in danger here, Bradshaw brings it down, Winnell will score Winnell has scored it's 2-1 to Barnsley That's Cardiff in disarray on the counter attack again it was very nearly their undoing against Wolverhampton in midweek. It was their undoing time and time again in the second half of last season. They're almost more liable to concede when we have a set piece at the other end because if, if we don't win that second ball and the other team too, do break, we just do not defend counter-attacks well at all. That time, no communication between Peltier and Matthew. So it's Cardiff City 1, Barnsley 2. Winnell with both goals. He's now got nine this season. Connolly plays the ball forward. It's won by Pilkington. He hoists it high towards the corner of the Barnsley area. Comes to Zohor. He plays it across the Barnsley half. Hoylett wins it. Moving forward into the area. Far side. But he's got Scowan and Bree with him. Gives it back to Peltier. The ball played back to Whittingham. He gets the cross in. And was there a handball then? by McDonald, the crowd felt so as Noon challenged for the ball the referee right on the spot said no and it's safely oh, with Adam just with every set piece Again, they've got to be careful on the counter attack though Whittingham then left footed into the area, not a very good one headed away by Bradshaw to this near side Noon picks it up just outside the corner of the area, goes to the byline onto his left foot, floats the cross in header coming in, is tipped over the bar from Zohar by Davis Great save by Davis. Yes, a great save by a goalkeeper who's been in fantastic form this season. Decent ball in from Craig Noon. It was awkward for Kenneth Zoho. He did incredibly well to just crane his neck to a ball delivered behind him and still managed to flick his forehead to get it on target. It looks like he's settling under the crossbar, but acrobatic from Davis. Whittingham with the corner. It's headed away only as far as Noon. He heads that forward. It's headed away. A chance here in front of goal, though for Pilkington cleared away by the Barnsley defence and the crowd yelling that there was a handball by a Barnsley defender then look pretty clear to me Whittingham floats his cross in Morrison heads it forward for inside the area and saved by David yes very similar situation to Joe Ledley found himself in in midweek against Manchester United he knew he didn't have the body position to win the header so just dropped off immediately five yards to make sure he swept up the second ball Bradshaw has it wide on the Barnsley right. Plays it forward. And then it's played back to Roberts. He turns it infield. Whittingham gets it away. But Cardiff can't attack on the break. And the ball with Yardham on the halfway line. 
playing it wide to Kent. He's given it back to Yadam, but it was never going to reach him. Noon reached it and was brought down by Yadam, and that's a yellow card for the Barnsley defender. Yeah, very clever play from Craig Noon. On the Cardiff right, Whittingham then left-footed, high into the area. Chance here, but it's headed away by the Barnsley defence, and now they can attack on the break. Winnor plays the ball forward. Hurahan in the centre circle. Long ball forward. Kent will win it. Plays it forward. Chance here for Scowan. 3-1 to Barnsley. Again, Cardiff caught on the break. And again, if Cardiff failed to win that second ball from a set piece, then, you know, it's a disaster zone going the other way on the counter-attack. Four on three going forward. Barnsley pour forward. They've clearly held the Whittingham, the three back that have been caught twice already. In comes the throw. That's headed away by Roberts. Only as far as Hoylett. He turns, gives it back to Peltier. He chips it away to the near side. Noon in a bit of space. But uh, is well robbed by Kent. And a chance for Barnsley to attack on the break again. Bradshaw plays it wide to Kent on the left. Moving forward, halfway inside the Cardiff half. Plays it square, looking for Winnell, but this time he's robbed by Gunnarsson. And that allows Morrison to play it forward. And Pilkington, just inside the Barnsley half, plays it across the centre circle to Whittingham. He's played it forward to Pilkington. Whittingham and gets it back, finds Hoylett wide on the far side. The ball played forward to Pilkington. Giving it back to Hoylett, midway inside the Barnsley half. Chips the cross in, brought down by Zohor. Tries to get the cross in from the byline, it's cleared away. Peltier wins it on the left, unfairly though. Scowan was fouled, free kick. That's really good play from Kenneth Zohor. Near post, takes an angled ball on it.